Let the attack of the awesome begin. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Attack of the Awesome, the podcast is so awesome, we orgasm rainbows. <laughs> what? That was lame. You heard me, we orgasm rainbows. That oh, yeah. Really lame. I'll give mm. you lame, JJ. Along with me are my co-hosts, Susie and JJ. Say hello. Hey. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm dopey. I'm happy. Let's get right into the podcast while we talk about what we have seen around the web. What have we seen around the web? Right. That's weird. What? What What are we talking about? I've been, I've been lost in a daze. What are we talking about? It's the around penis. the web. Oh. Talking about your penis. And how big it is. Wow. Yeah. So now that has its own subject on the podcast? That must be like the best thing ever. I know, right? You're going to get so much hits now. Mostly from females. Yeah. Then we can hire a new female host. Oh, wait. I wasn't supposed to say that, was I? No. <laughs> I'll start. Have you guys ever seen um, this commercial for, uh, I don't know, for Power Energy? Well, not Power Energy. It was basically like a parody of like a commercial. And they're basically all like, uh, you can kill tigers with your feet. And, uh, um... You're, you're, you're thinking of power... Is it like Power Thirst that you're thinking of? Yeah, that, something like that, and it's just yeah, like... Yeah, I, 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 know, I know that commercial, yeah. It's the, that's, that's really funny. It's like, oh, I can't remember that. You'll be faster than Kenyans! <laughs> yeah, faster than Kenyans! And people are gonna think you're from Kenya! <laughs> or they're like, it's made for real lightning! Real <laughs> lightning! <laughs> <laughs> if it were, you'd die. They also have done um, a Sonic version of that called Power Rings. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder if it makes the noise every time you drink it. Going, brum, brum. <laughs> you sweet. Brum. <laughs> and if you reach the bottom, it does that thing where he, 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 he dies at the end and jumps up at the screen and, doo, 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 and slides down it. Susie, do you, it's, I heard that Sonic is actually pretty big in Europe. I mean, it's bigger than it is in Japan and America. Uh-huh, it's huge over here. Yeah, it's like it. blue hedgehogs. We like blue hedgehogs, because we've got hedgehogs over here. You guys actually have hedgehogs over there? Yes. Really? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, I about, like, I've seen a um, video about um, a hedgehog, and like it actually showed a hedgehog rolling down a hill, and it was like only three seconds, but like they're all like, oh my gosh, it's Sonic. I don't think, it was on e <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually have hedgehogs. Uh, we we get them all the time in our back garden. Actually, have to make sure the dog doesn't chase it. You have a dog? Um, yes, I have a dog. Is it a German Shepherd? No, it's a Black Labrador. That sucks. No, it doesn't. I said that sucks. I mean, I was hoping yeah. that you had like a little lap dog, so I could be like, ah, she have a little lap dog. But I forgot you like man dogs. I like proper dogs. Man dogs. Yes. Um, what else do I see on anyway. the internet? I'm at PV, I mean, I'm at JohnTronShow.com right now, and that's Normal Boots, and I've been, like, looking, researching on him. I've been pretty much watching all of his shit, and I'm all like, wow, this guy's actually pretty fucking entertaining. He got other people on his site, too, such as Cold Morning and Indie Game Searchlight, and this mm -hmm. one show I haven't seen yet called Continue. I advise you guys to go over there. Mm -hmm. Go to, over to NormalBoots.com. And all right. Awesomeness. We will. Really? Yeah, you guys have bears over in Europe, too. Uh, yes. You ride them to work. Damn, how did you know my mode of transportation? <laughs> how oh, did you guess? I can only imagine, because bears are, like, like the funnest, like, animals to ever have, even though they're kind of scared. I don't even know why people are afraid of bears, because I think they're more afraid of us, aren't they? They, just, they don't, like, attack anybody. They just kind of <laughs> run around and do whatever they want. Well, it's with any animal. If you show them you're afraid, then they attack you. Oh, bullshit, man. A fucking cheetah will bite the fuck out of you as soon as it sees you. He's going to be all right. Uh -huh. Look, look, there's some fresh meat. Ah! <laughs> Punch <-tize> me. <laughs> you're just working your way around the animal kingdom. Last week it was tigers, and now this week it's cheetahs and bears and hedgehogs. Uh, and Did you know that hedgehogs eat cat food? Do they? Yes. Did you know that people can eat dog food? Yeah. Kids. They also eat dog shit. Yeah, that's, anyway. that's wrong. 
Z, what have you seen around the web? I hope uh, it's well, dog related. No, it's not actually. It's movie related, it's funnily dog. enough. Well, I was watching this. This is related to somebody I mentioned several times, Confused Matthew. I was looking, uh, trying to look for different websites to go on instead of just going onto YouTube and just finding a random video. Mm-hmm. Um, and I came across a website called uh, How It Should Have Ended dot com, and it's basically this guy that is reanim is is an animator, and he's basically reworked the endings of a lot of classic films and blockbuster films, oh. etc. And it is. Brilliant. I'm brilliant. He, he has done. Shut up. He has done the endings to films like Jaws and Avatar and Saw and Toy Story 3, which is the funniest one I've seen on there, actually. The Toy Story 3 one is brilliant. Did they actually die? No, you have to go and see it. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. It well, is you worth should. It should be no. called spoilers.com because that's what they're doing. It's not spoiling it. It's, it's seeing how the movie should have ended or could have yeah. ended. So it's like really? alternate endings, pretty much. It's, yeah, it's alternate endings, which are yeah, pretty a, lot much, funnier, yeah. a lot funnier than the uh, some of the endings that actually happened. Like the Toy Story 3 one, where it's, it's, it's sad. Sucks. Uh, for anybody that's not seen it, I'm not going to say why, but it is sad. Um, but the, the, one, the alternate ending on this website is brilliant. Um, mm-hmm. What else did they do? They did Inception. And <laughs> I'm not gonna <coughs> see, but I I love the movie Inception. <coughs> alternate ending was genius. So genius. if you want to see alternate endings for some of your favorite movies, animated style, head over to HowItShouldHaveEnded.com. This guy is a genius. Yeah, I've seen his work and it's awesome. I watch it every time they have a new episode. Ew. I sp- <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Scooter Mike, and I watch AlternateEndings.com. It's not AlternateEndings.com, it's HowItShouldHaveEnded.com. I'm watching How It Should Have Ended, even though this podcast should have ended weeks ago, but then they picked up Turtle Kermit, or TK, or JJ LaForte, and that's how awesome he is. I'm breathing life into this. I'm like a fucking life support vessel. Yay! Somebody have sex with me. <laughs> You're killing me here. I'm gonna fucking kill you in a minute. I'm really enjoying Silence. pissing off Susie today. I feel you! What? I don't feel I... like dancing! Dancing! <laughs> Gonna book a girl with the the moon! I don't feel like dancing! What? <laughs> what I have seen around the web leads into our next segment of What in the World of. And what I've seen around the web has to do with music. Because on right. Tuesday, last last week Tuesday, oh this this week last Tuesday, God I can't talk. Nope. Bernie Spears released a new music video for her single "I Wanna Go," and I've been watching that. And her music video is pretty cool in this one. It's pretty awesome. She looks absolutely hot. I know there's a chick in the podcast, but I'll just say that. Anyways, the the pretty much the whole premise of the music video of "I Wanna Go" is. She's at a press conference, and the press are asking dumb questions at her, and she's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, fuck you, and she leaves. And then all craziness happens. First, a fan runs up to her and gets an autograph, and of course, Britney Spears grabs his ass and leaves. Okay. As she's walking, the paparazzi are taking pictures of her, and she gets pissed off. So she goes on a taxi takes her microphone and whips it around like a whip and whacks the frickin' paparazzi. So it's like her everyday then, life. <laughs> pretty much, but the twist is that the paparazzi... She's an alien! No, the paparazzi <laughs> are terminators. They're cyborgs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I what? No- I have nothing I can actually say to that. I can, but it'll be too dirty. You're always dirty. <laughs> I'm not dirty. You are dirty. Talking about your penis. <laughs> I thought that was a new segment. Wait, yeah, new JJ's segment. awesome penis. Or he talks about his penis all the time. Along with the weird, uh, no, the the um, weird porn news. You and your penis are the hosts. In orgasms, whatever you call it. Yeah. In orgasms, <laughs> rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> that Skittles commercial has just changed to me totally now. Yeah, 
away across the sky. If anybody never All seen right. Dope Rainbow, I advise you to go watch it. Mike, are you almost done with your freaking music section so Susie can talk about movies and I can say that Cars 2 sucked? <sighs> what? I'll, I'll, I'm getting to it. And get right. there fast. So it, I'm going faster. <laughs> Let me go through it. Anyways, uh, go check out Brandy Spears' I Want to Go music video. Just just for shit to go. Just check it out. Uh, in other news, <laughs> ACDC is getting... God damn it. In other news... <laughs> I'm losing it. Oh, my God. In other news, ACDC is getting their own Monopoly game. Why? <laughs> Appar- apparently, the Metallica Monopoly game became so popular. Why not well give ACDC one? I have no fucking clue. It's just... Oh, I'm like, what? Really? Do, do we need to have the music music versions of... Monopoly with ACDC and freaking Metallica. Why uh, do they have to cash in this fucking one brand on so many different themes? It's getting so I, stupid. I know. <sighs> uh, and moving on to the last one, and this might interest uh, Susie a bit or not. Uh, have you heard of the the American Idiot musical? Yes, uh huh. I have. Of course, uh, the album and the musical American Idiot by Green Day is going to be turned into a featured movie. Are you joking? Is that? Nope, oh, I'm wow. not joking. Yeah, it, they're, they, uh, it's green lighted, and they got a director, and they have a frontman to star in I'm the back. movie. What are you guys talking about? I'm talking green about music. Green Day American Idiot being turned into a movie. Cool, I like Green Day. I don't even know what songs they made. I just know that's the only band that people talk about. So, yeah, I like Green Day. Hooray. And actually, it's surprisingly no, because Tom Hanks' company, Playtone Production, is doing the movie version of it. Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, cool. Spaghetti. I love Tom Hanks. <laughs> Noodles. Playtone, Playtone are, are really good at producing movies. They're really good. Yeah, yes. I know. So it'll come out in 2013. That's when we're all dead. <laughs> I don't even think we're gonna die anymore. No, it's, it's all the crap. If we're dead, uh, can I go to hell so I can like kick God or did the devil in the balls? <laughs> I think you are going to hell no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, I can like feed him uh, Fruit Loops and stuff. That'd be sweet, man. I want some fruit loops. Heater, 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 heater. Heater, heater, heater. I'd love to explore your mind sometime, JJ, because it's just unbelievable randomness all the time. Why? It's insane. Wait. Speaking of movies, Mm. what do you got for movie news? Well, I only have a couple this week to talk about. You'll be happy to hear. Um, Because there's not really been a lot happening in the movie world. Um, The the main one that actually came out yesterday, the story, was um, the actor Peter Falk, who many people will remember as TV's Columbo, passed away on Thursday night. He was aged 83, and it's it's a big blow to big fans of him. As I said, he was well known for uh, Columbo and a range of different movies, including one of my favourites that I'll talk about in a little while. And basically, it's a it's a big blow to the the acting world and everything. He he, he had been sick for a, a long time with uh, Alzheimer's. We knew it was coming eventually, but it is still sad when somebody that is very well known like that does pass away. So uh, Peter Falk, he he died Thursday night, aged eighty three. Uh, they haven't released the, the cause of the death, but you can only assume it's something to do with that, with his Alzheimer's. So Peter Falk, rest in peace. One one of the great one of the greats. <laughs> uh, right. So my next article: uh, Emma Thompson has asked Will Smith to adapt at the musical Annie for his daughter Willow. So they're basically going to be making a new version of Annie. Mm-hmm. And starring Will Smith's daughter Willow Smith, and we all know where she came from and what she's famous rock for. My hair back and forth. I rock my hair back and forth. Yeah, one of the most annoying songs ever. I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm not going to go into it because I will start ranting. Um, yeah, You'll so rock basic- your hair back and forth. No. It- You're the so only basic- one that can. Damn. I don't like that song. Anyway, um, so Will, Will Smith is wanting his daughter to star in the, mu- in the movie, new, brand new movie version of the musical Annie. Basically for the new generation, they're calling it. Like uh, his son did with the new Karate Kid movie. Um, so Will Smith is working with Emma Thompson and Jay-Z uh, and with the company Overbrook Productions to get this uh, adapted screenplay done and the movie sorted. Not really looking forward to it because I love Annie the way it is. Uh, the the 80s version that is perhaps the best one. There's also the a, a made-for-TV Disney version, which was good, but... It's made for TV, so it's, you know, it's just one of those uh, movies that I think should just be left well alone. After once, twi- twice is enough. And that's what happened in the world of movies. Not a lot, but, yes. All right, JJ, what do you got for video game? What's going on in the video game world? Nah, I'm on Screw Attack right now, and a lot of people are saying the Wii U is going to suck dick, you. But I like the Wii U. They say that about everything. They said that about the Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, it does sucks though, because it's like, it's very... I know a lot of people that don't even use the 3D feature on it, and they just play games on it. It's, it's meant to be really bad for your eyesight. Yeah, it's just, it's not really... Man, who gives a crap about 3D? Have you guys ever just go and see 3D movies for that extra five bucks? I've, I've done it with Toy Story 3, and I it did didn't really make a damn bit of difference. I know, it didn't really make yeah. much of a difference. And that's why everybody's all like, wow, 3D sucks. But the Wii U is going to suck because it's not going to do anything. It's just going to play the same, and you're just going to be able to play it on your lap. Then again, oh, it's not well. a bad thing. It's, it's not iPad. a bad thing for mobility reasons. That's quite good. It's an iPad, and everybody likes the iPad, even though it's just a bigger version of the iPod Touch. Yes. Bigger uh, and better. Yeah. Like your penis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever play Ice Climbers? Uh, don't know. Nobody's ever played Ice Climbers? Have you guys at least seen them in Super Smash Bros? To be perfectly honest, I've never played Super Smash Bros. I hate you. Get off my podcast. (laughs) I've not played it. I don't have have a lot of time to play video games. I wish I did. Get her off right now. (laughs) No. Smash Brothers. Yes. I have. Get off my podcast! <laughs> what? I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you either. Oh, I hate you both. Do you have a point there, JJ? <laughs> uh, no, I'm bored. Okay, you guys. This is what it's about. Freaking... I used to have a thing called an e-reader. It's really, really, really lame in America, but it really kicked ass in Japan. But basically, it was for Game Boy Advance, which I personally bought like a few days ago uh, from mm-hmm. eBay. But basically, I got an e-reader now, and I'm going to be able to like buy little cards for it. That's how you play the games on it. And I got Ice Climbers with it. And basically, you scan your card through it, and you're able to play games, but you got to scan five cards. So you can already tell why the uh, e-reader didn't sell so well over here in America. Yeah. Uh. Seriously, if you lose one of those cards, it's you're pretty much screwed. So I don't even know why they even made it like that. Shouldn't they just made, like, one card or something? Yeah. It's just to get you to buy more fun. of their stuff. Because stuff is important to Nintendo. That's how they make their monies. Of course. I mean, of course! That's only if we want to rule the world. Ah, damn it. Mm, Also, Duke Nukem sucked penis. I think I already said this already. No, a lot of people have been saying that. Uh, Yeah, I actually did play it, and it was actually not that fun. It's just that it was trying so hard to be like Halo. Mm -hmm. Halo, Halo, Halo. Can you hit the same notes Beyonce can? Yes. I hate you. What, What were you about to say, Mike? Nothing. But yeah, that's what happened. Everybody hates freaking Duke Nukem, even though you get to drive around just killing aliens and stuff. But like, there was just no work put in the game. They just said, "Oh, let's just complete it for fuck's sakes." People are gonna buy it anyway. 
It's like mm-hmm. when you finish a, it's like when you finish a movie and like you're all like you know it's taken so long to like make it. It's just that nobody everybody just wants to see it, but like nobody really cares if like it's good or not. So that's how I think Avatar is. I don't even think it was that good of a movie. I like that movie. I don't like it. it Suck. You don't like anything. <laughs> I do like stuff. I like peanut butter and jelly gamer from freaking normal boots. Damn. Okay. Okay. You guys are always like, you don't like anything. You don't like anything. I just bought me a guy. I just bought me a Dreamcast. Oh, oh yes, you finally got it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to starve people because of it. <laughs> okay. JJ, you're weird. Speaking of weird, let's go into the weird news. I wasn't finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Stop. Okay, I'm done. All right. All right. <laughs> All right the, Let's uh... get the white men in coats. Please come and get me. <laughs> and then. All right. All right. First up is uh, the newest fried food in the fair called deep fried Kool-Aid balls. So come on, chocolate salted balls. Take them in your mouth and suck them. Sorry, that just popped into my head there. I hate salt balls. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so, carry on, Mike. So this guy took some Kool-Aid, formed up into a ball, and defried it. It's the newest craze right that. now. That uh, would not be weird in Scotland. I'll tell you why in a second. You guys but, uh, the haggis over there. No, no. Yeah. I'll let Mike finish. Hold on. The, uh, to answer the question, JJ, the way he did it, he he described he mixed a couple of, he mixed flour with a couple of other stuff to make it like into a ball so it stays together as you fry it. Was it good? And apparently people are liking it. That's really lame. So he deep fried Kool Aid. Deep fried Kool Aid into he black? balls. Actually he's white. Oh, man, I don't even want to eat it anymore. Is it a chick? No, it's a guy. I really don't want to eat it. Deep fried Kool-Aid balls, the newest in fair food. Uh, you know, I I like Kool-Aid, and you know, this idea of making Kool-Aid balls and deep frying it, it might, it just sounds interesting to try. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I was going to mention to you. Uh, there's a delicacy that we have in Scotland um, where, do you have Mars bars over there? Or, yes. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yes, we they do. Have deep, they have deep-fried Mars bars over here. You can buy them in fish and chip shops. Yeah. It's pretty much common. There's, there's, there's actually a restaurant in uh, in New York that deep-fries pretty much anything. You bring it in, they'll deep-fry it. Really? Yeah. Deep-fried webcam! <laughs> no. no. Food deep fried. Item. Deep fried. I'm looking around my room. Deep fried. Uh, CD. I mean food. Anything food related. Deep fried. Food. Like the uh, deep fried Oreos. The deep fried uh, Twinkies. Deep which... fried foie gras. However you say that. <laughs> foie gras. But yeah, if you're in the California area and in the San Diego department of it, check uh, try some Kool Aid, deep fry Kool Aid balls if you can. And food. And Glorious food. food. The now the next article relates to Susie a little bit. Yeah, it's all about it's all about haggis. That's lame. Okay. A uh, 17 year old sets haggis speed eating record. <laughs> You poor sap! (laughs) Seventeen-year-old John Davis ate one pound of haggis in two minutes. Ew! Ew. I don't even know what haggis looks like, so shit. You you don't even know want to know what it is. Is Isn't it horse meat? No, no, no. Oh, let me say it. Haggis is a very rich delicacy made from sheep stomach, liver, heart, and tongue, combined with onions. Suit and spices. It is all that cooked in the stomach of a goat. Sheep. And people good. eat this shit. Is it fried? No. I don't think Can so. Can you have it fried? No. 
I don't know because I never want to try haggis in my life. Don't you know, your daddy and your oh. mommy ate it? No. Oh, that's lame. Really? My mommy, my mommy oh. eats something called black pudding, which is black. Uh, uh, it's chocolate pudding. No, it's not. It's it's um, I can It's it's a kind of a meat patty covered in burnt in blackened pig's blood. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. Oh. oh. Yeah. We have weird uh, shit over here. Uh, last weird news article is all about the woman with the world's largest natural breast. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's got size one hundred and two triple Z size breast. Can I see them? Do you have an image? Yes. Show sure you them. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a link in the. There's a link in the. Freaking chat. Yeah, in the chat, just click that link. Yeah, this woman, hey, titties, this titties, wo- titties. This oh, woman God, never on- mind, never mind. Oh, God, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> and this woman appeared on a, a daily show that we have in the UK called This Morning. She could sleep um, on those. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she just made a recent appearance on there, and I I heard about her earlier before I, I read on because she had the world's largest natural breast for Guinness Book of World Records for a long time now. Mhm. Uh, it's just very disturbing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you 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 don't know what it's like to have them anyway. They are um, strange things. Yeah, yeah. They, may, they must feel good at least. Yeah, she says. Uh, um, I don't want to start that conversation because it's very weird. No, uh, it's very. Uh, she says she bought her first bra at the age of ten. So Jesus. I know she she had them at a young age, so she was growing them as a kid. And then, uh, of course, she's That's married. So when she met her husband, everything changed, and she was he pampered her and just gave her like a queen treatment blah 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 because in the past everybody teased her because of her big breasts yeah when in, in my school that was considered the depending on your chest size how popular you were sadly that's hot yeah it's not it's it's <laughs> sick <laughs> i mean anyway. like in her case yeah of course it is nobody likes it when something yeah. is just stupidly huge no. Oh, yeah. But if it's like a well, nice I, E shape or, I don't know, maybe some C's, maybe. I, I'm speechless. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> better chop those off and turn them into haggis. <laughs> God, for God's sake. Yeah. Okay, that is the weird news. Thank Christ. <laughs> haggis. Uh, where the hell no, am I? Haggis is disgusting. I want to taste it, man. It probably tastes good with mayonnaise. Whatever works for you. And I live here and I don't want to touch the damn stuff. Which is kind of sad. But uh, last segment of the podcast is the Attack Squad Q and A. Yay! Belly Boo. Answer questions Donkeys. from our listeners. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're up first. You got a few, got a few questions here. Since you like Gilmore Girls, who's your favorite character from the show? Ooh, well, that's a, that's a good question. Because um, basically, the the two lead characters in that are just the, the spit of me and my mom. We're, we're like Lorelai and Rory all the time, absolutely insane. Um, who's my favorite, though? Who's my favorite? Uh, I would say Lorelai. As I said, because she reminds me so much of my mum, it is scary, and she comes out with random one-liners and things, and 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 she's just completely insane. She's the, the perfect mother and friend. It's a, a brilliant combination, and that's it. She reminds me of my mum because she's like that too. Um, so Lorelai is my favorite character from Gilmore Girls. Follow closely by Rory because she's me. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Next question. Uh, do you think the show was better before or after Rory entered college? Uh, I was actually talking about this the other day with my mom because uh, we randomly sit and watch Gilmore Girls when it's on uh, TV, when the reruns are on. Um, I would say after college because beforehand when she was in uh, Chilton, uh, 
she was kind of a monotonous character to begin with. She was funny. Don't get me wrong, she was very funny, but when she got into college, she the character kind of opened up more. She was more free and out of her shell less. And it was really funny, and she just became more of a, a, a warmer character. So I think she was really, really brilliant after she went in, after she um, was in college. Nash! Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gilmore Girls. That has Amanda Bynes in it, right? No, you're thinking of yeah. uh, what I like about you. I hate that show. But the Gilmore Girls, I hate that show, too, because I used to have a friend that liked that show, and she's a bitch. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Lastly, <laughs> lastly, would you... Wait... <clears throat> Would you see a Gilmore Girls movie if it was ever made? Fuck like, yeah! Why do you guys like Fuck Gilmore Girls? Yes, because I do. Like, don't they have like conversations and it just goes like this, meh, meh, and the camera just keeps like switching back and forth between them saying stuff? No, that's a show about you. Anyway, and um, that's <sighs> all. Yes, I, I would definitely see a Gilmore Girls movie, but I know it's never going to get made because they have interviewed uh, the the actresses that play Laurel and Rory, um, Laura, Lauren Graham and Alexis Bledel, and they said it's they'd love to do it, but it doesn't look as though it's going to get uh, green-lighted any time soon. But I would fucking die to see, to see a Gilmore Girls movie. I'd love it. Yay! Because the, right, right. the show just kind of ended abruptly, and it was kind of, aww. Oh, anyway. yeah. That would have been cool. Uh, okay. Since JJ is eagerly to interrupt us, uh, let's go with JJ's questions. No. Yay, boo. <laughs> All right, first question. Is the tiger's disease contagious? And if no. so, what preventions can people take to make sure they don't catch it? Use right protection and make sure you use lube. Okay. And, and don't put enough milk inside the bowl. <laughs> Actually, put more milk in it. <laughs> Shut up, Susie. It's not funny. <laughs> You're interrupting me. I know. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Next question. If the troll fighter... Or become a superhero, what kind of superpowers would it have? Your penis. Uh, um, he can break stuff with a bat. Um, I don't know. He can fly. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> okay. So you'd, you'd just be flying around the place. <laughs> Freakazoid can't fly. Look in the sky, it's the troll fighter signal. <laughs> <laughs> And he just flies around and has a bat. Trolling. He just breaks shit. He has super strike, too. So he's just a flying brick. You'd be flying around and then you'd find somebody that was trolling and you'd just say, I love this trolling. And just destroy everything and then he'll run away. Yeah. He has super speed, too. Yes. Also, he right. has um, a, a call. Uh, it's called uh, the troll face call. And whenever he gives it, like it's like a just huge troll face appears. And then after that, he leaves, and, like, everybody's just pissed. It, inter- it instantly makes people mad. <laughs> I don't know. It's right. just, it's great for instigation. Okay. Uh, do you plan to sue... Uh, how much do you plan to sue Tony the Tiger for? Mm, I don't know. Does he have a wife? Uh, yeah, Tina the Tiger. <laughs> I was just going to say, yeah, hold on. So my phone is ringing! Stop calling, stop calling. Shut up! I left my head in my heart on the dance floor. Stop telephoning me. Sad that like a bunch of like twenty sums are on a podcast and going wee. No, wee. <laughs> so extremely bad in your case. You're almost thirty. I don't care. You're only as old as the man you feel. Yeah, true. I feel every time I get older, I feel younger. 
Mm-hmm. I've, I have the mental age of a 12 year old, so it's not a good thing. Flying fuck. <laughs> then again, you write bears to work. Yes, we write bears to work. <laughs> Instead of gas stations, you just got honey bars. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to buy a gallon of honey bars to feed them. What are those things? I would say honey. Uh, what are those things called that Winnie the Pooh um, drinks out of? Honey pots. Yes, and they just drink them. Bears don't even like honey like that. No. Stereotypical view. Ask any bear you know, he'll say, I eat people. I mean, like, they For like uh, sap and, like, stuff, but, like, they don't, like, uh, go after it. It's just no. like, something that they just do. It's not because it doesn't provide them any nutrition. Mm-hmm. Hey, anyways, uh, yes, Tony the Tiger does have a wife and kids. He does. Yeah, Tina the Tiger, uh, Timmy, and Tammy. I want his kids, his kids, and I want to bone his wife. And then after that, <laughs> we even. And Timmy, the, Timmy the Tiger's bringing out a new cereal called Timmy, You know, I draw a really hot picture of her. Or, like, cosplay as Timmy the Tiger, and she's really hot. <laughs> then I won't feel no remorse. You're really going into furries now? Sure. Really? I don't know. It's like, everybody treats that like that's like its own sex or something. Like, oh my gosh, he's a furry. They treat it like it's gay or something. Or lesbians. <laughs> Like, they're a type of person. Like, seriously, all that is is just like a fetish or something or a preference or something. It's not even a fetish. It's just yeah. an art style or something. And people oh think that, so yeah. bad to it. Yeah. And uh, last question, JJ, is do you know where Scandinavia is now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly made that when I was editing it last week, and you said, where is Norwegian? I nearly made that into a ringtone. That was so funny. <laughs> it was... I, I listened to it God knows how many times. Where is Norwegian? <laughs> so funny. Tone, then pass it around. Yeah. 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 Tone, then pass it around across Scotland, and then everybody would be all like, ah, oh, this is funny. This is from an Where is Norwegian? <laughs> it's Detroit. All right, I got, a, I got a few questions for myself here. Oh yeah, yeah. Read uh, your questions all. Do, do it in a different. Do it in a different voice so we know who's answering what question. Do it in a high pitched voice. <laughs> but like, okay, Mike. Here we go. I got some questions for you. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's what's key. <laughs> Is that gay, Mike? Yeah, I'm hey, Mike, we're gay. This podcast would be so much more interesting. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hold on. Do it, Daffy. Do it, Donald Duck. I was just gonna say the first question's all about Donald Duck too. So <clears throat> the question is, can you do a your Donald Duck voice in game? Because I thought it was funny. Okay. I know it. I'm a Donald Duck. Oh, that's good. See JJ's penis. Funny. <laughs> Get him to say other stuff. Say <laughs> <Hey>, titties. <laughs> I can't even say titties and dog dog. <laughs> was it titties? That was not titties. That was terrible. <laughs> I know, I can't say titties and dog dog. <laughs> I can't pronounce the cheese right. You just said like a completely different word. <laughs> I know. Oh, God. I'll get him to say something else. <laughs> this is fun. It's a new segment called Make Mike Say Anything and Donald Duck. Donald Duck says. Donald Duck says. There you go. That's a new segment. Yay! <laughs> And a new segment was born. <laughs> okay, say boobies is Donald Duck. Mama! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cheer me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing now. <laughs> say Did potato. You... Wait, can I say wait? My <laughs> dagger! <laughs> this 
guess I'll just be the new podcast. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. I'm going to move on to my other two questions here. Uh, okay. And that, and that will go to the... Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. New segment, Dow Duck says. Coming to the next episode. <laughs> Coming All this right. fall, and we see. <laughs> Coming this fall. All right. Gigi, you still with us? <laughs> yeah, I'm sleeping. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fine. I'm happy now. <laughs> All right. Uh, since you already stated that a Goofy movie is one of your favorite Disney movies, what do you think about a sequel? An extreme Goofy movie? I like that. Uh, uh, yes, I do like the Goofy movie. It's one of my favorite Disney films. And uh, the, ski- blah, the sequel of it, I've seen it, and it's not the greatest sequel to it. There, Of course, Max is in college, and, you know, college life is blah, blah, blah. Eh. I don't know. I I think it's okay. It's not the greatest. It's like one of those erupted, stupid Disney sequels that goes on forever and ever. Mm-hmm. It's, out, of the, out of the ones they've had, I think it's a better one. Like, if you compare it to The Little Mermaid 2 or Return to Neverland or whatever the yeah. fuck else they've done. Ugh, no, those ones this- are just... Unnecessary. Yeah, the, the only successful sequels is the Toy Story franchise. Mm-hmm, hell yeah. And actually, the sequel, the new sequel that came out was Cars 2, and apparently a lot of people don't like it, and it's the one of the worst Pixar movies people are saying now. But there's a new short movie at the beginning of Cars 2, which is a Toy Story short movie. Yeah, it's, yeah the short little clip, yeah, I heard about that. Mm-hmm. Anyway... I got another last question here. <clears throat> Besides Stand Out, what's the best song from that film? Anus. Uh, <laughs> your, yeah, your anus. Yeah, okay, that's a good single. Your anus is so fine with me. I like to slick it all night long. Oh, no, please stop. Please uh, stop. Make I, the mad to stop. Uh, Stand Out is one of my favorite Disney songs from... Uh, <laughs> A goofy movie. Uh, it, it it would have to be after today. It was okay. I liked uh, nobody else but you because that was a really good father son kind of song. Nobody else but you, and that's pretty much. And then the one at the end called uh, "I I to I," which no, was another good song from a goofy movie as well. I like a goofy uh, movie. I think it's really good. Uh, and lastly, we got a couple of questions for all of us to answer. Ooh, not a cookie. Right. <laughs> if you could be any character from a movie or a musical, what character would that be and why? I don't want to be anybody else. I want to be myself. Originality. And any character from a movie or a, a musical? Mm-hmm. You're blowing my mind here. What are you doing to me? Uh, uh, back. <laughs> I want to be the guy who has sex with all the chicks. You want to be Shaft? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, you go, Mike. I'm still trying to think. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, shit. Well, I don't watch a lot of musicals, but for movies, my God. Get the fan of the opera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, why not? My face is so hideous, I gotta cover it up. <laughs> and then you'll have half a mohawk. Oh, my God. <laughs> half a mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, oh no, I mean an Oreo, an Oreoitis. It's contagious. <coughs> oh, God. Protect yourself. Always lube it up too, as well. No, don't ever say that again when I'm eating a cookie. Oh God. <clears throat> Tigers right. 
No matter what, no matter if it means dinner or cookies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just had that image of you in the phantom mask, and I've got a phantom mask um, on my wall. I just see it seen. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know. Right. I think that'd be awesome. <laughs> Thank you for the answer, JJ. You guys are for uh, now for me, I'd probably be the Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz. Oh, wicked. You'll be Glendilda or whatever the fuck her name is. No, I want to be the Wicked Witch of the West. Isn't uh, it Glinda? No. Glinda's the Good Witch of the North. No. Oh. She wants to be um, evil and evil. And that, and that yeah, she wants for, to be green. That works. Yes, green's my favorite color. Uh, that works for the movie and the musical because I'm. That, that's my. That's a part in the musical I die to play. Alphabet, uh, the Wicked Witch of the West, and uh, Wicked. My favorite color is H. <laughs> This podcast is sponsored by the letter fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the attack squad Q&A. That sucks. You guys oh, have fact. any more interesting questions? All right. The most awesome of the week. Me. Who wants... No, not you, JJ. Mm. Lena, JJ, what's the most awesome video game of the week? Uh, Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> Scott <laughs> versus the world. It's a game on the PS3, and I advise you guys to go download it. I was playing that yesterday, and I was just kicking butt. But it's only fun if you have like a whole bunch of friends to play with, because it's not an online game. So, but yeah, it's like it's like just a common beat 'em up, like River City Ransom, if you ever played that. So yeah, go go download Scott Pilgrim versus the World. It's for Xbox Live Arcade and for PS3 network. Cool. Do you see what is the most awesome movie of the week? Cars 2. Uh, the no. most awesome... Bad teacher. Are you done? SpaghettiO Gamer. <laughs> the most awesome movie of the week is in relation to the death of Peter Falk because he actually appeared in this film and it's one of my absolute all-time favorites. No! Uh, mo- <laughs> <laughs> they won't finish. Dang. What are you doing? Stop it! Banging my head against a wall. Oh. <laughs> Does it feel good? No. Now, why are you doing <laughs> anyway. it, man? You're freaking... Because you're pissing me <laughs> off. <laughs> well, then say your awesome blog of the week. It's not awesome. Pl- it's awesome movie of the week. Well, then say anyway, your awesome blog. The awesome movie of the week is Murder by Death. It stars the late Peter Falk, as I said, who recently died on Thursday. Mm. And it is a murder mystery spoof movie. It's got a lot of uh, big people in it. As I said, Peter Falk's in it. David Niven, Dame Maggie Smith, Alec Guinness, uh, Peter Sellers, one of the greatest comedians of all time. Um, And it is absolutely hysterical. I haven't said that this whole podcast. I've been biting my tongue, but you made me do it. It's hysterical. Ah, you're scared. <laughs> yes. Um, it's, it's one of these very slapstick, very quick, um, very funny uh, spoof movies of a, of a murder mystery. And if you haven't seen it, uh, I would t- certainly recommend getting it. It's one of the greatest comedy films ever. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And as I said, it starts the late Peter Falk, so that's why I'm bringing it up today. So Murder by Death is this week's awesome movie. Rat Race was better. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, most awesome song. We're going back to 1974. Is it the Phantom of the, the podcast? <laughs> no, shut up. In 1974, oh, the podcast of the night. <laughs> That's my favorite musical. I want to see that now. We should make a musical and call it the podcast, uh, the Phantom of the Podcast, and it will star Mike as the podcast. My favorite musical is the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> That's my favorite musical. Is it? Mm-hmm. You've just gone up in my books, JJ. Yeah. You have just gone up in my books. Phantom is amazing. I love them. I love that. I like. I love too. it. I got I got my Phantom DVD signed by Gerard Butler when he was in uh, Glasgow one time. Butler. Mike, are you still alive? Yes. My head hurts now for banging on the wall too much. 
Oh, I thought you were hungry. God. <laughs> no. Shut up, all right. I'm sorry, I've just so found they... common knowledge with JJ now. He's gone up in my books now. Yeah, he loves Phantom, good. so there we good go. Good for you guys. Good for you. All right. Anyways, <laughs> most awesome song of the week, going back to 1974, a band called The Average White Band has a awesome funk spectacular instrumental song known as Pick Up the Pieces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, nobody's like, oh, what's that? What's Pick Up the Pieces? <laughs> no, I, don't, I really don't care. Sorry, I had I, I, some stuff. No, nobody, nobody knows. I'm, I'm giving you guys the taste of something different every week. So Pick Up the Pieces by the Average White Band from 1974 is the most awesome song of the week. Woo! Okay. And that is the most awesome of the week. Should have been me. All right. Any closing thoughts before we close the podcast? We should have a freaking play or have a podcast where we reenact the play of Phantom of the Opera and call it Phantom of the Podcast. Yeah, baby! (laughs) And Mike, the, the image of it will just be you wearing the Phantom of the Opera mask. And it'll be hilarious. <laughs> and I'll be Winston. I, I, I'm psyched to see that now. It would be the greatest ever. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, this would be the greatest musical podcast I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Seriously, though. I mean, like, if you didn't want to do yeah. it, you can at least title this podcast, Fan of the Podcast. Oh, please, I, yes. <laughs> I think I will do that. Oh my god, I want to see it now. I'm going to go watch my movie. I'm going to go make me some pizza rolls. This this has been Attack of the Oso saying goodbye. Attack. So long, farewell, love you, saying goodbye. Attack. 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 Why are you why are you hitting me? Stop hitting me.